Greetings and felicitations, YouTube, and may I present the Warriors of Ithaca. A unit that I did not know you could take more than two of into multiplayer battles. Yes, this is going to be a battle replay where I get taught something by another player. And here's some, uh, they think these are the, am the gorilla ambushers. Yeah, the gorilla stalkers. What amazing turtle mechs you all have. Okay, so yes, this is a um, this is part two of my attempt to find a way to make the Amazons great. Um, I knew I was playing up against an Ithaca player, so I thought, hey, let me see if I can't find an infantry line that works. I went with the Aristomachoys when playing as Hippolyta. Uh, the Aristomachoy, one on each flank. I did a line of Andromachoy. Um, these ladies have the benefit of having 160 weapon damage, 138 weapon damage. These are the most damaging infantry options available for Hippolyta and actually also for um, uh, Penthesilea as well. I took a uh, Archer Skirmisher hero because of the range. Look at that range. Uh, 210 while she is on this uh, this uh, skirmish mount right here, which is just freaking awesome. That Compompo, the, the deer helm. Look at this. The, the wolf head with the antlers. Like This is just a rad model. Oh, let me get a better angle at her. There we go. That's it. That's the one. That's just freaking awesome. And the in, with the <laughs> the Andromachoi behind her, pretty cool. Pretty cool. All right. Well, or that was the Aristomachoi. I also took a line of Stone Slingers, two XP chevrons for faster reload and more damage. Um, these are just really, really low tier um, slingers. That that's all there is to it. Poor defense, forest fighter, sure. Good for what they do. That That's their plan. Anyway, I was facing Ithaca. I kind of expected when I deployed that this is what I would see. I would see nothing except an Odysseus. I'm also expecting to see javelins. Plenty of javelins. I'm hoping to see a skirmish force. So, I brought an Amazon Champions, which is a uh, anti-large chariot option here. Pretty cool unit. And then I also brought... Uh, and you might be sitting here thinking, Yarl, why did you take centaurs? If you're playing as the Amazons, don't you want to bring some of their own cavalry options? No, I brought the centaur scouts because I wanted cheap cavalry. There is no such thing as cheap cavalry in the a Amazon roster, and I think it's a big mistake. The centaur scouts here only cost 550, and you can take four of them. And I was hoping I could use these guys to tie down archers, javelins, slingers, whatever kind of skirmishing force he brought... I'd be able to take out with that. Well, as I still don't know, Odysseus is over here, which I can't see. He deployed everything in that little sliver between my deployment zone and the white line. And that's, um, what is this? Seven units of Warriors of Ithaca with four XP, and two units of Gorilla Stalkers. And I am none the wiser. I see Odysseus head over to this copse of trees, which is ahead of his deployment zone, and I figured, okay, here's what's going on. I'm going to check over here just to be sure with my centaur scouts, but I think his army is over here. He wants to fight me in the woods, and I'm okay with that. So, I'm going to go ahead and fast forward here a little bit. I move, I move my army up to take up this line, and I don't see this uh, javelin attack coming in on my Aristomachoi, because at the same time, I caught that notification that my guy was under attack from Odysseus. And I'm, I want to use my Archer Skirmisher hero here to outrange Odysseus. So I'm focusing on this fight. I'm trying to distract him long enough so I can get my forces into play place. And really, he just ended up doing the same thing to me. The person I played against, by the way, this is Death from that, um, that Discord server I was talking about. He's got this ambush going in full swing. I still don't even notice. I'm over here. This is the exact camera angle I was using at the time and everything. I don't even look here. And um, I hear that, and I look over in time to see just this. This. Completely attacked in the flank, in the rear. My stone slingers aren't, aren't even prepared for it. This is when I finally start to uh, to act. I, I I see this coming, and I'm just... As soon as I saw this, I was like, oh, I've lost. I saw the Warriors of Ithaca, and I went, there's... there's I don't I don't have an answer to the Warriors of Ithaca. Especially not especially not from a... When they have an uphill position. The Aristomachoi might do okay, but the... Like, here, let me show you the comparison of stats here. This battle's already over, but I'm going to at least get you an angle so you can watch things. 
Here's the Arista McCoy, 160 weapon damage, 85 armor. Here's the Warriors of Ithaca, 160 weapon damage, 65 armor, but they also have a Javelin. And their shield block chance is 55, my shield block chance is uh, 75, but not like it matters, he didn't really bring any skirmishers. Oh wait, I guess everything he brought is a skirmisher when, you, when it boils down to it. Um... The only fights I'm actually going to stick around and, and, and last in are going to be the ones against um, the Aristomachoi. But the Andromachoi, they just get routed. Completely routed. Over here, completely outnumbered, overwhelmed. Just uh, absolute trash disaster for me. I throw my Archer Skirmisher into these Gorilla Stalkers just so I can, you know, fight something somewhere. My Centaurs are completely out of this fight. Here come the my Amazon Champions uphill to try and help out somewhere as... Uh, Another warrior of Ithaca gets into this fight. And I'm trying to, like, do something with my sling ammo, but my slings can't do jack against, uh, against warriors of Ithaca. Uh, and my centaur scouts, they're not going to really be able to do anything about the warriors of Ithaca either. He went, he, he went, I mean, they're not even a heavy infantry, they're a medium. But he went heavier than I, than I could handle. Um, and this is another problem with the Amazonian roster. Um, they just, they don't... Every faction has a counter to them. Every other faction has a counter to the Amazon factions. And that is a decent sword infantry with a shield. Um, whether it's a, a value like the Lyconian swords with Sparta at 750, or whether it's um, Warriors of Ithaca, which I didn't even know ahead of this battle, you can take as many of as you want. I thought they were capped at two. Um... It's the second most expensive infantry unit in his roster, but it only costs 1100 Um, and then... Let's see here. Uh, renowned Kopesh sword fighters counter all, um, Amazon infantry. Basically, they, they tell you, like, the way you want Amazon to play is, like, you want, you want their cavalry to be your winning power. And... The problem is, if you don't have a decent line to hold, then it doesn't matter if your cavalry is your winning power. And let me show you what it, let me show you exactly what I mean. First of all, let's go to the, the end screen here. I can show you just the stats: zero kills, two kills, five kills, eight kills. My main line of Andromachoi it was outmatched by the main line of Warriors of Ithaca. Basically, all you need to do is bring a unit that beats Andromachoi. Um, if it, if it can beat Andromachoi, it will beat all Amazon infantry. That's all it takes. That's all it takes. Um, Penthesilea's infantry is worse. What about the Daughters of Ares? They're great, but they're they're hit and run. They're chargers. They're not mainline infantry. There isn't a mainline infantry. There isn't anything that's heavy armored or heavy weight class other than the Aristomachoi, but you can only take two of them. This one only got one kill. 49 kills. That one had a decent trade, I guess, with this warrior of Ithaca. I don't know. <clears throat> he didn't even really need to bring the Gorilla Stalkers when it came down to it. I think one of them ended up beating up the, the Skirmisher uh, hero anyway. And then, of course, my Centaur is completely out of position and ineffectual in that fight. So, like I said, as soon as I saw the Warriors of Ithaca, it didn't even have to be secretly deployed, which is another reason that makes them good. Don't get me wrong. They didn't even have to be deployed funny. I, I, as soon as I saw the army, I went, oh, well, uh, GG. I can't, I can't fight that. Um... And like I said, every faction, every Greek and Trojan faction has a better infantry unit than the Andromachoi. And that that pretty much ends it. So, okay, well, all right, Jarl. Appian way, Appius, buddy, friend, pal. What about the cavalry? You're playing, you're playing Andromeda all wrong. Why don't you just bring the cavalry? So I have another game with death. Death asked me the same question, and he's like, here, why don't we trade... Uh, change sides. I'm like, well, it's not fair because I already know I'm going to beat you. And I don't even have to try too hard. So it's like, okay, fine. I'm just going to hammer the point home. I'm going to hammer the point home and I'm going to bring Dardania. <clears throat> and as Dardania, I brought heavy Anatolian swords. I brought seven units of heavy Anatolian swords, one Dardanian defender. Look at that weapon damage 167. And this uh, heavy Anatolian swords is 160. I didn't bring any Fearless Swords this time, because I just wanted to field as many as I could. Fearless Swords also have a weapon damage of 160, but they also have a Javelin. Um, I also brought five Anatolian Slingers. Why Slingers, do you ask? Well, because they're, I mean, the only thing they're not going to be good against in the Amazon roster is the Aristomachoi. And then I also took 
And I have them hidden out here. Two Savage Centaur Warriors, um, just to help me deal with any skirmishers that he might have brought. And Death's lineup is, let's see here, we'll take a look at it. War Riders, yeah. Pretty cool unit. Weapon damage is 75, range of 142 missile damage. Hippotuxatai, really cool uh, bow rider unit, yeah. Toxoanasis, also really cool. They have the ability to inspire some of their um, their stats on others. And Hippolyta, also on horse, also really cool. Range 210, yeah. Like, this is, this is the way you're supposed to play Amazon, right? This is, oh gosh, I just, I, I really kind of want to watch this slow motion cavalry charge. Look at them. Look at those ladies. Fantastic. This game's really beautiful, isn't it? That, that is really awesome. Too bad they are doomed to die. It's just such a shame. So here's the map, and here's the format. I was able to, you know, go wide on this hill, kind of protect that flank and set up my slingers up here. Um, he's going to, and this is wise, make a beeline for the unprotected flank of the slingers. Oh, or I thought he was. I guess he changed his mind at the last second. He's gonna try and get some cheap shots in at Aeneas, maybe. <clears throat> but this gives my slingers all the opportunity to start showing their value. And he makes a mistake in the sense that he, he kind of blobs them up here and has them sticking around together. Ooh, I even got like a couple chaplets into those two up there. That was a little nifty, but look at the look at the health points just drop off the uh, hippotuxatai. As I just get some infantry set up here to kind of plug this gap, and I'm already moving some swords out this direction to help protect this flank of my slingers. <clears throat> and I'm also moving up my savage centaur warriors. It's at this stage that they're now visible, and I move them over into the next batch of trees. We'll see if my opponent even notices that they're there. Uh, Death is kind of moving his forces out this way, and I kind of I stall up over here because even though I have two Savage Centaur Warriors, they're just two. They're not going to beat this in melee. So we move into the next stage where he's sitting here thinking, planning out his next um, avenue of attack, and I continue to get some swords in the right areas and everything. Here come the orders. And they're going to go straight down the gullet again. It looks like one of them is going to go a little bit wide. No, okay, you read to the order. Their, their lines get a little bit more compact, a little bit more pushed together as he makes this, uh, this move. The order must have been to move out this way. And as a result, they're going to take some shots. That's a good plan, yeah. Use that range. But, you know, these guys have shields. Um, the missile block chance is... Uh, look, that was Aeneas. That was still Aeneas. The 45%, the Dardanian defenders, 55%. So I'm going to move down this hill, because I see the cavalry going this way. I'm going to try and, like, close off this avenue here. Because I'm thinking, hey, I might be able to trap him inside this, uh, this canyon. Um, slips right around my heavy Anatolian swords, but I do see it coming, so I have two more units on the way. T taking a few more shots with my heavy Anatolian slingers. All the damage, I want to point this out right here, pausing, all of the damage that the cavalry has taken thus far has been from skirmishing. Alright, that's, that, half of that unit's health points are gone. This one's almost, almost out of it completely. This would take a little bit of damage. All of the damage I have taken up until this point is from skirmishing damage. I have a little bit of damage on this uh, Anatolian Slinger. This, uh, this heavy, this heavy Anatolian Sword lost like half its hit points, but... That's that's it. That's all. Alright, so the skirmishing fight hasn't really gone in favor of the uh, the cavalry blob here. So I'm going to just move this sword in a little bit. And it's going to close off <clears throat> the ability for a lot of these horses to pull through. Well, I guess not. Looks like a lot of them are just going to get through anyway. But this heavy Anatolian sword is going to do just fine. Even with all of these horsewomen in its way. So yeah, I do get my slingers free. He tries to pull through, tries to pull through. I'm at the stage now where I'm trying to get my um, centaurs up here. This is the the best it gets for Hippolyta in this situation. He's kind of uh, trying to catch up to my slingers, dealing a lot of damage to them, but I'm, I'm fleeing with my slingers directly into my cavalry. I, I, I am going to turn around my swords eventually, I promise. 
because the battle is now up here. There is nothing to catch in this valley. <clears throat> Look how many kills the heavy Anatolian swords picked up. Over here, 15. 15, 16 cavalry and, and counting, and this one did get cut off. I did, I ended up losing a slinger temporarily, but I lose that slinger with most of its hit points still intact and a lot of ammo. And this is bad. This is bad for Hippolyta, because look who's uh, look who's priming up their uh, their ammunition. Yeah, here here it comes. And they've already taken a lot of damage just from being in melee. I, my Savage Centaur Warriors, they're here not because they're going to win. They're here because they're going to slow down the cavalry slingers. 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 Oh, my slingers. Oh, slingers. Victory is close enough to taste. All of that health just gone. Just gone. Closing the gap. All that's left is Hippolyta. And Aeneas is here to take care of that. And shattered. Okay, well you need a balance of units. Okay, so show me cavalry that doesn't cost so much that you can't get a balanced army. That's... There's... There is no... Ifs, ands, or buts about it. Like... The Slingers got the kills they needed and did the damage they, they needed to do. I only took 46 casualties. And and as Dardania, you should be taking a lot more than 46 casualties. Um, it's just it's just unfortunate. Um, we really, really want Amazon to be good. We really do. Um, here, here's, here's my problem. This is their cheapest... Um, skirmish cav unit for Hippolyta. Costs 800. Alright, 4,000 hit points, 82 weapon damage. That's about comparable to other chariots. That's fine. War Riders. Costs 1,000. Hippotuxatai. 1,350. Toxoanasis. 1,450. You're limited to two of them. Antonire. 12, uh, 1,230. 800 for horsewomen, but they're just kind of meh. Um... They're they're at least faster than cent or the centaur scouts are faster I guess, yeah yeah that's what I was reading. Um, the centaur scouts are actually the cheap cavalry option that makes them a little bit more viable if you ask me. Uh, let's look at Pythesilea's cavalry. Okay, you, 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 do you want a sixteen hundred cost um, light cavalry unit? That uh, I mean this is a really cool unit. I like it a lot. It it, it does like bonus versus heroes, bonus versus large, but with only 35 armor, it's getting eviscerated. Okay, uh, Hippo McCoy. There's a heavy cavalry, at least. How how are you going to give me a heavy cavalry with only 40 armor? And, I mean, a 60% block chance is alright, I guess. 110 weapon damage, 45 charge bonus. Okay. The charge bonus on the Furies is better at 98. Okay, Anorated Tees. 106 weapon damage, 100 speed, that's good. 25 armor, no shield. Uh, horsewomen are just, you know, they're just horsewomen. This javelin chariot's cool. Se cost of 790. There's definitely value here. Mounted huntresses. I do like their javelins. Um, look at the, the melee damage on the mounted huntresses is okay, but still it's a jav cab. You don't really want to use it in melee. And let's look at, at the poor state of affairs with, with Pethesilea's infantry line. Look at the melee damage, all right? 58, 70, 69, nice, 80, 80, 66, 85, still it's a charger, and 125, awesome, charger, causes terror, fear, yeah, awesome, 44 charge bonus, starters and berries are great, you can only take two of them and they cost 1400, so if you were, wanted to make a more balanced um, army, that uses a mixed bag of the strengths. Okay, I'm even gonna go with a cheap hero. All right, let's look at Pythesilea first of all. To get the most out of your Daughters of Ares, we're gonna take the two of them. We're gonna turn off unlimited unit caps real quick. All right, there's the two of them. Okay, um, we're gonna need a mainline fighter of some kind. In this instance, it's just the Coronites. That 80 weapon damage isn't looking so hot, and neither is that 35 armor. Uh, is there a better option? Maybe the Oath Sworn with 45 armor. That is the highest armor infantry that Penthesilea has. 45. 
Bleh. Uh, so I prefer the Cornites. Oh, the damage is actually better on the Oath Sworn. So instead of Cornites, we're going to go, let's say, four Oath Sworn. You're already down to 5780. Um, okay, well, we got to get our cavalry in here. So we're going to go... We're going to go with this value... Value uh, decent chariot javelin. And we'll take... Uh, we got to use plenty of cavalry uh, uh, and my army's done, basically. I don't have a unit cheaper than 300 for the stone slingers. I don't, I don't have any room for skirmishers with this. I only took one chariot, three cavalry units, six infantry. The funds just disappear when you're playing as the, uh, the Amazons. I want to see in a patch for the Amazons, I want to see the price brought down across the board, especially for the cavalry. Okay, what about Apollida? All right, fine. Again, I'm going to go with a cheap commander. Cheap hero. We're taking the Arista McCoy because we need their power in these infantry fat battles. Um, we're going to go with Andromachoi because that's 138 weapon damage, 35 armor. Or the War Maidens. They don't, they don't do damage at all, but maybe they'll hold the line. Four of them. We're already down to 5,500. All right, um... Well, we need to bring Missile Cavalry. All right, let's go with the War Riders. It's three of those. Um, and we'll protect them with a pair of these. And my army's done. And again, I don't have enough. I don't have enough. I, I just... There needs to be a, a price dip for the Amazons. Or better infantry. Um... I was kind of surprised to to realize that Hippolyta's infantry was leagues better than Penthesilea's infantry in the armor category, in the weight category, in damage category. Daughters of Ares, which everybody loves, is and is a huge damaging unit. One hundred and twenty five. Let's let's compare that real quick with Hippolyta, the uh, the Aristobacoi. Aristobacoi are better in every way. Every way except speed, melee attack, and charge bonus. I'm just, I, I, I rest my case. Somebody help me. Somebody, if you could think of a way to, to actually get value out of these Amazon armies that isn't just trashed by, say, heavy Anatolian swords. Cost 820. There they are. Mycenae, uh, here, Club Warriors, 110 damage, 750. No shield, low armor, but javelins. Um, all right, Armored Swordsman, 160 damage, 95 armor, 75% block chance shield. Hector of Troy, Trojan Defenders, 167 weapon damage, 85 armor, 45% block chance. Paris of Troy. Renowned Phrygian Axeman, 106 weapon damage, 70 armor, shielded, got has a hefty javelin. Ithaca, I've already mentioned, Warriors, the Warriors of, 160 weapon damage, 65 armor, also Vanguard deployment. Fithia. Fithia, actually, uh, heavy swords would be okay. You don't even need to go for Myrmidon swords, but they, they'll absolutely do the job. Yeah, heavy swordsmen... Champions of Fith Champions of Fithia, Champions of Fithia. Um, who else? Actually, if you wanted to go value uh, value wise, ancient Indian runners are decent. Yeah, Fithia actually is infantry doesn't do as much damage as other infantry, which I I found that interesting to learn. Um, Lycia, I I don't even need to say like uh, weapon damage is all right, but these guys are king of the game right now. I think I really do. Sparta, Laconian Swordsman, 750 value, 60 shield, 55% missile block, 125 weapon damage. Like, just... The defense rests. Tata, I love you all. See you in the next video. Future Jarl of the Appian Way here, everybody. Uh, I just wanted to say that... Um, I wanted to thank you all, really, for this past week. It's been wonderful for my channel. I'm up to 250 subscribers. It's halfway to my goal of 500, which will allow me to actually present some Creative Assembly content 
uh, in advance of their release dates. Um, I might actually be that lucky soon. I'm floored and 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 in awe, and and I feel ambushed by your love, much like how these warriors of Ithaca are going to ambush these um, these Trojans with with javelins and swords. But that's besides the point. Uh, I also wanted to ask you all to get your feedback. Please leave a comment, um, which you would rather see me do. I've gotten a comment recently asking for me to do some siege battles, and I'd like to. But I also want to find ways to make it uh, competitive. So if you can, if you can think of a way to make it so it isn't just one-sided in favor of the uh, defender, I'd, I'd be very interested in bringing you a, um, a siege battle. Oh, I love charges. Charges are the best. Um, something maybe like a 3v2 or a 2v1, or maybe there's a, a certain funds limit I want to try that'll make it a little bit more uh, competitive, something like that, or uh, as well, another option for something I could do soon for my channel, and I also want to get your feedback on, is would you guys be interested in my opinion of what I believe the best units are of each army, or the worst units, or the most valuable, things like that, not necessarily like a tier list, but... A, a breakdown of um, each faction's, like, the unit to take. The unit that I take every time, or something like that. Just let me know. I'd love to, I'd love to read some comments and, and interact with you all. I do try to reply to every single comment I get. And, yeah. Thank you so much, everybody. I'll see you in my next video, which you can play a part of. Also, hit up that Discord that I linked below. It's uh, Death's Discord. He's the person who gave me this replay. Um, you can give me your replays. There's a replay channel, and I can feature it on, on my channel. Let you all see it. Okay, that's it. See y'all later. Bye-bye.